I want to use this opportunity and medium to send a warning to Bianca Ojuku to stay clear from anything sabotage against Biafra. If she wants to continue to have her peace, Biafra people will not look at anybody that stand on their way to freedom. Her husband led the war when Nigeria declared war against Biafra people. The great Iroko of Biafra, which is her late husband, commanded Biafra armed forces. And of course, he was the president of Biafra during that three year of genocide. So we are not going to trade our freedom for anything political position because a lot of people have expected me to react on the so-called frivolous appointment of Bianca Ojoku. The reason I have not reacted is that it is not my business. And I believe it is none of Biafran's business. She is a politician. She believes in Nigeria and that is her own choice. She is just one person, one woman with one vote. Today, you don't expect me to, to start reacting when 50 million Biafrans have consented to this Biafra government, giving this Biafra government consent and the authority to fight for their freedom. So who is Bianco Joku? Only one person, one woman. So I don't want... All right, so Samanekwa has dropped a message for Mrs. Bianca Ojuku, who has accepted the call to serve Nigeria. Yes, under the <laughs> leadership of Minister, Minister of Foreign Affairs, mm, Ojuku, uh, Mrs. Ojuku has accepted the, you know, the ministry work and she has started her job. In fact, the other day, I saw uh, the video where they were screening her uh, in the National Assembly which is fine. So, Simon Ekpa has, you know, dropped a, a video, you know, said some things to her or sent her a message saying, Madam, as we did there, mind your business, mind your work. No interfere in anything that has to do with Biafran restoration. Your husband fought for this. In fact, your husband now are at the top. So, if you will come now and try to be an obstacle for us, well, we go, me will, you know now. <laughs> Now very, now very strong message, oh. Now very strong message, honestly. Someone like tell and say, just mind your work, oh. Just mind what you they do. We follow Nigerian government, they do their thing. No, we not send you your office or your appointment since you have agreed. Say you agreed to work for Nigeria, eh, just the work for them, serve them, but no put them out or no stand on the way of Biafra. Otherwise, <laughs> Biafra will match you. Uh -huh. So please, I'm going to allow you to watch the video how he said it. This man called Simon Ekwan, eh? Hey, ah, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy. Anyway, may God bless him. And we also pray for our dear Amiabu leader, Mazin Nandekanu. May God strengthen him too. All right? So please, I'm going to allow you to watch this video now. As you're watching it, you know our tradition, subscribe, turn on your notification button, please. Anybody that comes across my video will always subscribe because on this channel, I bring you information of what is happening as it may happen. Now, so we bring them, all right? So if you are seeing my video for the first time, don't forget to subscribe, all right? For now, I will allow you to watch the video. The great Iroko of Biafra, which is her late husband, commanded Biafra armed forces. And of course, he was the president of Biafra during that three years of genocide. So we are not going to trade our freedom for anything political position because a lot of people have expected me to react on the so-called frivolous appointment of Bianca Ojoku. The reason I have not reacted is that it is not my business. And I believe it is none of Biafran's business. She is a politician. She believes in Nigeria, and that is her own choice. She is just one person, one woman with one vote. Today, you don't expect me to, to start reacting when 50 million Biafrans have consented to this Biafra government, giving this Biafra government consent and the authority to fight for their freedom. So who is Bianco Joko? Only one person, one woman. So I don't want to waste my time, but it is very imperative that I bring this message to her. So long as she maintain her lane 
mind her business as a politician under Nigeria, we don't have problem with her. But where we are going to have problem with her is when she used that position to fight against Biafra in any capacity. Then Simon Ekpa will change to whatever that will suit her. And then we will engage her in any way possible. For now, she can enjoy her appointment. I have no business and I have no issue with her appointment under Nigeria. Mr. President, the beautiful nominee standing before us. I said restrict yeah. yourself it is in the to the CV. resume. Yeah. Forget, Mr. This, Mr. President. forget this word, beautiful. This is, I said restrict yourself. It's in the CV, sir. Restrict yourself. She didn't put in the CV that she's beautiful. Yeah, it, is that what she put? Where? It's in the CV. Where? The CV says beautiful Bianca. Yes. <laughs> it's in the CV. Okay. Mr. President. Okay. Mr. President, Bianca, Olivia, or the Naka Chuku, or the Megwe Chuku, is my sister from Ngo, you know, the local government of Enugu State. Mr. President, a golden fish have no hiding place. And that is why the President of the Fire Republic of Nigeria went and brought this woman who is very passionate about our country, who is very committed to see the growth of this nation, who will give all that is within her reach to make sure that this country gets to a greater height. Mr. President, you see, when Mr. President announced the nominees and put them in ministries where they are going to serve, it makes everything easier for us. Because she is posted to where she has absolute confidence and competence, where she is going to make a huge impact to this country. She is a lawyer. You know, the question they used to ask, when will Biafra come? This question has always been what has been in the mind of the enemy for decades. They come like friends, they laugh, and at the end, the question is actually meant to mock the Biafra agitation in those days. My fellow Biafrans, today is Sunday. I would like to read the Bible today. I would like to read from the book of Ecclesiastes 7. The book of Ecclesiastes 7, I'm going to read from chapter 7, and I will read verse 7, and I will read 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. Surely oppression make it a wise man mad, and a gift destroy the heart. Number 9. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger rested in the bosom of fools. When you expect the Biafra government and myself to act on certain issues, we don't delve into things with our anger. We take our time. But when we start, the entire world we know that we have started. They used to ask you, when will this Biafra come? Mazen Ambikano mentioned this in one of his broadcasts. Always there, when will this Biafra come? When will this Biafra come? That's a question that many, both the good and the bad, carried in their heart for decades. But that question now has an answer. The question finally has an answer. And the infinite answer will come on December 2nd, 2024. My fellow Biafrans, as we continue to put in place the delegitimization of the Nigeria terrorist state within Biafra land, we are taking it one step at a time. We are not in a hurry. This is a fight that has taken the life of millions and we fought this for over 50 years. The Biafra government, 72 hours ultimatum to return all the Biafrans that were kidnapped from the old eastern Nigeria and taken to northern Nigeria and other parts of Nigeria to detain. Many of them have been detained for many years without trial. That 72 hours ultimatum ends today. And we have seen reactions from different courts 
One of them is the court, the Overed Appeal Court. They have announced temporary shutdown because of security concern. This particular shutdown, it is now very evidently clear that Nigeria have no intention of returning our brothers they kidnapped from eastern Nigeria and taken to different detention facilities in the northern Nigeria. Or maybe many of them have been killed. So, the knowing what we do not know about the fate of our fellow brothers and sisters, both women and children, that were taken in the name of arrests. So they decided to lock down because they can't provide our brothers they kidnapped from eastern Nigeria and taken to northern Nigeria. I want to use this medium to inform Nigeria terrorist state this evening that this temporary lockdown because they could not provide our brothers and sisters they kidnapped should not be temporarily. They have locked down permanently and indefinitely. I will never reopen again. I want to let you know that the evil will only strive when good men keep quiet and silent. In the absence of good men, the evil men will always strive. Nigeria have shown to be evil for decades. And in all this evil of Nigeria, the good men have always been terrified, fear, and they remain silent for many years. Today, many good men have risen up and they are all in Biafra government in exile. And so we are going to commit a great violence on this Nigeria, on this Nigeria state, because that's exactly what is going to restore peace. And it has started. We are going to delegitimize Nigeria institution by institution, step by step, organization by organization, government by, by government, and at the end, they will leave our land and we will have a peaceful nation where our children and women will live and walk in the night without anybody kidnapping them. Just like we all enjoy in Europe, where we can wake up 2 a.m. in the night, go to a shop without anybody molesting and without anybody being afraid of being kidnapped. That is the, the vision we have for Biafra people. I want to also let those who are shouting Pan-Africanism. Pan-Africanism died with Biafra. And it will rise with Biafra. A lot of people are making noise all over Africa, especially those who have access to media. They say, oh, what do you have to say about Pan-Africanism? I have not actually took my time to address them. But today I will make, you know, touch on Pan-Africanism. And I want you to look around yourself. Look around Africa. How many people do you see in government in any African country that is shouting Pan-Africanism. No, only one. And he is called Malema, Julius Malema. Julius Malema is the only one in government shouting Pan-Africanism, but he is making a very terrible decision. His Pan-Africanism can never yield any result because it is a complete misplace of priority. You do not support evil because you have a platform. Julius Malema, will be shouting Pan-Africanism, Pan-Africanism. But in as much as Arafat supported Mandela, that is not a reason to support terrorism against Israel. What happened on the 7th of October was a complete terrorist attack and must be differentiated. It must be able to differentiate terrorist attack and struggle for freedom. Malema, with his Pan-Africanism, refused to understand the difference between terrorism and fighting for freedom. Another person who is shouting for Pan-Africanism is Professor Lumumba. He is not in the government. So what am I trying to say? The only person that is that have a voice shouting Pan-Africanism today is Malema, and he is in the government of South Africa. So if you know that you actually love Africa and you really want Pan-Africanism to come to reality, there is a need for you to support Biafra because that is where the Pan-Africanism will rise. You need people in the government that knows what Africa people need. And Biafra have young, vibrant men and women who will make that Pan-Africanism to become a reality. So if you don't support Biafra, your dream is dead and dead on arrival. My fellow Biafrans, December 2nd, we are going to make history. This December 2nd is sacrosanct. 
in the history of Biafra as we are going to fulfill our destiny on that very day. The heaven and the earth will stand still to witness the occasion. The sun will bear witness and the enemies will tremble before us as the world behold the emergence of the United States of Biafra on international stage. For decades, Biafra have stood firm, fearless, resilience, and unwavering against Nigeria terrorism and oppressors. Today, we on the bricks of the new era. We are ready to claim and reclaim our destiny and officially restore Biafra as an independent nation. This is, isn't just the culmination of journey. It is fulfillment of a dream that our ancestors and heroes set in motion long time ago, between 1967 and 1970. Their vision is now our reality, and every Biafran alive today is part of this historic legacy. Those of you in the United States that has made us to realize this dream up to this point, you are a hero and hearing of the Biafra nation. The Biafra Convention 2024 from November 29 to December 3rd, 2024, these days, Biafra from all over the walks of life will gather in Lakte, Finland for a five-day event that will mark the beginning of the new era for generations to come. This is more than just convention, and I'm telling you, the enemy are not happy. They have done everything, thinking that Nigeria can control and can get anything they want. But today, we are not just asthmating them. We are showing to them that not every country supports evil. It's a unification of a people reclaiming their identity, purpose, and future. The energy will be electrifying, historic, and the pride uncontainable as Biafrans come together to declare their restoration of their sovereignty. This monumental and historical event will showcase the symbol of our independence and identity, and here's what we have in stocks. For those who have been asking questions, what is this convention all about? You want to declare independence in a foreign land? We are not declaring independence in a foreign land. The independence of Biafra has already declared. We are only restoring our lost sovereignty. Just like the Lithuanians. The point is that the people don't read history. We are not going to be the first country to restore a lost sovereignty state. We will launch the Biafra National Identity Card and Passport during the Finland Convention. Finally, making every Biafra place and belonging official across the globe, we will unveil Biafra Ejema during this convention. The Biafra currency will be unveiled. A testament to our economic independence and strength, the flag of the United States of Biafra will be raised standing tall as a banner of our unity and resilience, representing Biafra to the world. We also will adopt the Biafra Constitution during this convention, a document that enshrines our right principles and governance for our new nation during this convention. We will also present a map of the United States of Biafra officially, defining our rightful borders and land. It is not just a map. It's a declaration of our place in the world, my fellow Biafrans in the US. We have dignitaries that will embrace the convention in Finland. Powerful policymakers from different parts of the world will be present in Finland. Powerful speeches will echo throughout the event with delegate and key international figures voicing our shared struggle for freedom, resilience, and determination. And in a formal oral declaration of independence of the restoration of the independence of Biafra, we will outline each vital aspect of our freedom step by step, solidifying our path to sovereignty state. This convention will also feature national debate on the issue that matters most to our new nation, uniting Biafrans 
from all backgrounds, representatives from across the 40 United States of Biafra, delegation from the different countries where Biafra has their lands and offices, and vote on bills, creating the legal backbone of our nation. The establishment of the declaration document will formally declare our restoration of independence of Biafra, marking our collective vision for the future and to seal this commitment, Biafra delegate will sign this historic document symbolizing our dedication to a free and independent Biafra. This is just the tip of the iceberg. As many other incredible things will unfold as the United States of Biafra begin to formally enter into bilateral relationship with other existing nation of the world. And in this convention, we will have one of the imagining nation president to be part of it. This is not just gathering of people. It will be unified voice of over 50 million Biafrans who have already voted in the South referendum, reflecting the clear will of the people to establish the United States of Biafra. On November 28, the final vote count will be concluded. And if the majority says yes to independence of Biafra, Biafra people will give the Biafra government the mandate on December 2nd to officially declare the restoration of independence of Biafra fully defend it. The Biafra government will then be empowered by this legal document that will be generated from this convention and granted all legitimacy over a sovereign and independent United States of Biafra. This whole world will be watching and the history await us all. I want you to understand that once this document has been generated and the constitution of Biafra is voted on, which is a continuous document, a living document from the 1967 to 1970. The battle for the recognition of Biafra will then begin. At the same time, the legitimization of the Nigeria state within Biafra land will enter gear 10. And as that is happening, we will continue to make sure, like the court have shut down today, we will not have any single Nigeria representative from that institution because what they have done to us Hello. will take us decades to recover they have brought the judiciary have brought anarchy insecurity and what have you in biafra land and the earlier we eradicate them the earlier we evict them the better for us biafra government have already laid down all the principles and mechanism to begin to set out the judiciary of the Biafra government. It is going to take us time. If you think that this is going to be easy, think again. But let me tell you, we have every template, step by step. So you have seen it. Hmm? <laughs> a very clear message. A very clear message. So if you know her, go and tell her. If you know her, go and tell her, say, see what our prime minister talk so that she go mind her business, JJ, they do her Nigerian work. <laughs> All right. So thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, right? And turn on your notification button. That thing will be like bell. Press them so that you get notified anytime I upload a video, right? So thank you and God bless you.